Well, it's fall in BC. And they've announced uh, Monday that they're going to start the vaccinations. That would be early from my last video where we thought it would be November that they would be releasing the vaccines. So we did some research. We got the pandemic flu uh, vaccination data paper. And here we have the vaccine details. The two AH1N1 vaccines contain the A California 7 2009 H1N1 V-like antigen and R era Panrix, the adjuvanted A H1N1 vaccine for all indications except the first half of pregn pregnancy. This vaccine requires mixing by withdrawal of the adjuvant, a milky white substance in the smaller of the two vials into the larger vial containing the antigen which is clear. The resulting volume will be 10 doses of 0.5 milliliters each or 20 doses of 0.25 milliliters each for young children. After mixing the record, record the time and the date of the mixing onto the vaccine vial. This is a vaccine must be used within 24 hours as a stability cannot be assured beyond that time. Children six months to, to under 10 years of age should receive two 25 milliliter doses given at least 20, 21 days apart. That's 0.25 milliliter doses. Those aged 10 and older should receive 1.5 milliliter dose. Now that's adjuvanted. So what an adjuvant does is basically uh, reduces your immunity temporarily so that you can receive the virus that's included into the uh, vaccine or the uh, inert virus if that's what it is. Now on our paper we said uh, that there would be a big push on the vaccine and the vaccine being pushed will be given by pharmacists in the city. Now I've talked to numerous pharmacists and not all the pharmacists are doing this and all for various reasons. We uh, are promised the answers to the vaccine here in the newspaper. This is the province full of fear, a lot of fear. Nine deaths in BC so far, five in Fraser Health Region. So we have less people probably killed by the H1N1 than we have had by drunk driving in the last two or three months, I would think. Uh, and we're gonna inoculate everybody, hopefully, according to the government with this new vaccine. Now when I go over this uh, article in the province there is no mention of the thermarosol uh, mercury content. Hundreds and hundreds of studies that connect thimerosal to, you know, to these disastrous neurological disorders. I talked to the scientists, and I talked to the federal bureaucrats who are defending thimerosal, and I said, "What are you relying on?" And I looked at the science they're relying on, and I can tell you, Joe, it is so weak. And you and I have seen, you know, legal practice with junk science, and we know, you know, what these phony scientists are who create it this stuff. Big tobacco. Right. Tobacco. It happens in and big this, oil. And this it's is happening in global warming. And now it's happening in a way that's impacting is, our kids' lives. This is classic tobacco science. It is junk science. And I was looking at these reports and saying, this is the best. This is what you're relying on. They know it's fraudulent. Okay. Uh, the scientists, again, have confirmed uh, that there is really a safe factor with using thimerosal. It's Just right. get your damn vaccine. The US